Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King's Bad channel. So there is a new mobile game just launched called Draconia Saga. Now a lot of players saying that this is a nostalgic game. It brings back memory. I'm not sure if this game was a revamp or a remodel from a PC game, like the like of the Ragnarok online game for example. But truthfully, this is the first time I ever ever see this game title and to ever know of this game. Speaking of Ragnarok Online, it's funny that players are comparing this game to the Ragnarok Online, especially the mobile version of the Ragnarok game. Because to me, having tried Draconia Saga for few days after its official release, for me, Draconia Saga is totally different than the Ragnarok game. The only similarity is that both are a RPG game. You choose a class and there's character development, like any RPG game. Well, if you want to compare Draconia Saga to Ragnarok game nonetheless, I would say Draconia Saga is most close to ROO, Ragnarok Origin, than any of the other Ragnarok game like ROX, Ragnarok X Next Generation, or ROM, Ragnarok M Eternal Love, mostly because of the partner rock aspect of the game. In other words, the heavily reliance on the path to make your character stronger, that break or make your character, that separate you from the other players in the game in terms of power. And that is the same in Draconia Saga. Alright, so why do I say that? First of all, you need to know what is Draconia Saga? What is this game all about? What is the core gameplay for this game? For that, you need to know how this game all started. I mean, in the game itself, the lore and the story of it that eventually makes the game. So for some context, for Ragnarok Online game in the mobile version, you start as an adventurer in a Norse god and demon world, where the demon Baphomet had been defeated thousand years ago, and there's Baphomet cultists trying to resurrect the demon again, and you who have the Odin's bloodline line is the only one that have the power to stop it. Long story short, you have all these features in the game that bestowed with the power of God and Valkyries to make you stronger. In Draconia Saga, you are in the world of dragons. Human ultimately succeeded defeating the dragons and thousand years later, the slumbered dragon had awakened in the form of a young girl. And you, unbeknown to you, was later told that are the descendant of the dragon bloodline and were asked by this girl to rebuild the dragon kingdom once again which is called paradise but at the same time you are a part of the human nation defense legion which called the dragon hunter to hunt dragon so a conflicting plot very interesting story and you as a player have the dragons to power you up to make you strong and so in the game we have the Drakite feature, which what the dragons are referred to in this game. Drakite, in the form of a wheel, or specifically it is called Fate Wheel. And this is one of the core features in the game that will make your character stronger. Drakite crystals are slotted into this Fate Wheel. So far into the game, I have unlocked three Fate Wheel. There might be more, perhaps, as you level up. There are a lot of Drakite different type of drakites and each drakite have its own stats slotting the drakite's crystals into the fate wheel will directly give you the stats that they have drakites also have different rank from n normal r rare s sr ssr and x ssr so do you see the similarity here with the ragnarok origin roo so where you can get the drakite crystals the drakite crystals in this game is obtained primarily in the form of gacha. Yep, I am not a fan of gacha element in a game, but after playing some other gacha game lately, I have been accepting it and liking it a bit more. So yeah, getting a high quality drakite is surprisingly not that hard in this game. With the wish list function, you will have a higher rate or a higher chance of getting the drakite that you want. That being said, 
made with gacha system as long as you have money you can potentially get all of the good things in day one and straight away you become strong that's for sure the drug hide can also be upgraded or level up to increase its stat further that eventually goes to your character you can also summon the dragon in the battlefield to fight alongside with you for a period of time although i don't know how to do that yet i'm still exploring the game overall gameplay next apart from the dragon you have another helper or similar to the machinery that help you in your battle called pogli pogli is one of the many races in draconia saga that typically look like this a rabbit looking creature but powerful pogli will resemble more human like appearance or perhaps like a little fairy now if the drakite give you power in more of a passive way the pogli assist you in a more dynamic way they will fight alongside you in the battlefield automatically and with that they have their own stat and skill depending on what type of pogli you use it will help you in various ways in the fight we have a healer pogli a damage type Pogli, a tank Pogli, and so on. So choosing the right Pogli can tremendously help you in a fight. Increasing the Pogli stat will also add to your BR battle rating. So with that, the Pogli is also one of the core features in Draconia Saga that will make you stronger. And lastly, just like any other RPG game, you have your character. Your character itself have its own stats and skills. So far, equipping and upgrading the equipment level will increase your power you will have a limited set of skills and increasing your skill level will also increase your damage output to push your character power further it then has the skill wheel by choosing the path of the skill wheel apart from adding more stats to your character and add additional effect to your skills this also give you some customization to your character based on your play style giving you a sense of freedom on how you want your character to be played. Alright, so all in all, Draconia Saga is definitely different than the other RPG game. And as I see it, so far, the Drakite, Pogli, and your character, these three things are the main things you need to focus on if you want to be strong. So what do you think of Draconia Saga? Have you tried it? And do you like it? Let me know what you think in the comment below that's it for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever i upload a new video thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video and as always happy playing bye bye